in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters coming together as God's family to celebrate the mystery of Christ's love. Let us acknowledge our sins and ask God's forgiveness. Lord Jesus, by your cross, you forgive us our sins. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, by your resurrection, you raise us to new life. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, each day you feed us with your body and with your blood to heal us and give us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, do we pray, at all times go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. <clears throat> A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, for freedom, Christ set us free. So stand firm and do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. It is I, Paul, who am telling you that if you have yourselves circumcised, Christ will be of no benefit for you. Once again, I declare to every man who has himself circumcised that he is bound to observe the entire law. You are separated from Christ, you who are trying to be justified by law. You have fallen from grace. For through the Spirit, by faith, we await the hope of righteousness. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision counts for anything, but only faith working through love. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord, your salvation according to your promise. Let your, Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. Take not the word of truth from my mouth, for in your ordinances is my hope. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. And I will keep your law continually forever and ever. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. And I will walk at liberty because I seek your precepts. Let me please you, O Lord. And I will delight in your commands, which I love. Let me please you, o Lord. And I will lift up my hands to your commands and meditate on your statutes. Let me be pleased to me, O Lord. May the Lord be in the family of Jesus, and may the Lord be in the family of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. After Jesus had spoken, a Pharisee invited him to dine at his home. He entered and reclined at table to eat. 
The Pharisee was amazed to see that he did not observe the prescribed washing before the meal. The Lord said to him, O oh, you Pharisees, although you cleanse the outside of the cup and the dish, inside you are filled with plunder and evil. You fools. Did not the maker of the outside also make the inside? But as to what is within, give alms. And behold, everything will be clean for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Freedom from the slavery of sin and addiction. A few years ago, the Pontifical Academy of Science hosted a conference at the Vatican called Nar Narcotics, Problems and uh, Solutions of this Global Issue. Anyway, at this Vatican conference, the Holy Father described drug addiction as a new form of slavery, comparing addiction to slavery, noting how addiction like slavery can fiercely control a person's life. The drug becomes a set of shackles, resulting in the loss of freedom to pursue what is good in life. It destroys, it kills all those uh, potentialities to do the right thing and always directs the person to the wrong way. This sort of language is certainly reminiscent of St. Paul and his letter to the Galatians this morning. Paul speaks of the yoke of slavery to which the Galatians were falling back into. Christ had freed them, broken their chains, but the Galatians were, were putting the shackles back on their own uh, wreaths. For the Galatians, this yoke of slavery was the belief that salvation came through the law. All they had to do to be was be circumcised and follow the old Jewish law. And they could go to heaven. This was the general understanding. But Paul is saying, no, that is not right. Neither circumcision nor uncircumcision counts for anything. Rather, you need to have faith in Jesus Christ and practice it. Only faith working through love matters. These Galatians were guilty of exactly the same attitude the Lord condemns in the gospel today in the house of the Pharisees. By the way, sometimes we think that all the Pharisees were not friendly with Jesus. There were some very good Pharisees who were inviting Jesus 
at their house. There, are, there were some good Pharisees like Nicodemus, the one who came at night to meet Jesus. So this Pharisee brought, uh, invited Jesus at his house. The Pharisee believed that the law was the path to righteousness. But the Lord explains that the law cannot bring internal purification. It cannot bring true freedom. Rather, freedom comes through belief in Him, through belief in Jesus, discipleship of Him, following Him. That is the only way the true freedom can be achieved. The yoke of slavery can come in many forms in our life. We can become slaves of ourselves. We can become slaves of our culture. We can become slaves of what others put on us. When we choose something, some pursue over Christ, we are falling back under the yoke of sin. It can be drugs, it can be alcohol, pornography, shopping, video games, social media. All this, they can become those forms of which make us slaves. For these things can consume so much time, so much energy. They keep us from pursuing the good things God wants for us. We spend hours and hours for nothing. Or even this belief that we can find ultimate fulfillment and salvation outside of Christ, separate from God through merely political, scientific, or secular means. But each one of us needs to identify personally what attitudes, pursuits, habits of body and mind, ideologies keep us from the prayer and the charitable work that constitute that faith working through love that Paul says is the only thing that matters. In other words, to see what are the, the, the things which keep us away from God. And this has to be done every day. In every day's life, we have to, to see. That is why St. Paul reminds us to be always on God, to wake up, to be guardless, to be vigilant. What keeps us from practicing our faith in saintly and heroic ways? What are the things which keep us to witness what we believe? So today, as we hear this word of God, let us be united in asking the Holy Spirit to come upon us. To help us to identify the wrong ways and the right ways in our life. Any shackles that keep us from that active faith, what is known nowadays as practicing Catholic. An act of love, love of Christ, love of our brothers and sisters. And by that we become witnesses of what we believe. So let us invite Jesus to heal us. As this Pharisee invited Jesus to his house, even though sometimes he was not in the right direction or understanding of who Jesus is, but the invitation itself is more than enough. 
Because when we invite Jesus, when we call Jesus, when we remember Jesus in our daily lives, in our relationship, things change. The only thing God wants from us is to open, to allow him to enter in our life, in our hearts. So as we offer this Mass, let's ask him, this loving God, be with us and to enlighten us to see the truth of the gospel. And now let us present our prayers before our loving God. For Pope Francis, as he continues to lead the church, may God look graciously upon his every need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our local and national leaders, may Christ show them the way of authentic servant leadership. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of those who struggle to provide for themselves and their families, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community gathered here today, may Christ's peace reside in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, especially for Mar Maria Bird for whom this Mass is being offered. May God's light shine upon them as they enter his kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Merciful and loving God, we present these prayers before you, and we ask you to answer our prayers according to your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Let's be that for us. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual thing. Blessed be God forever, whose humble spirit and compassion has made us acceptable to you. And may our sacrifice in your sight sustain this individual. Wash me, O Lord, for my iniquity and cleanse me. Yeah. 
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is true, right, and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift which we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have called us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we praise that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring us to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, all our Archbishop, Isevis and Daniel, auxiliary bishops, Peter Sartan, retired bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
to be married, to be quite as eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, the Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation that deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant us peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. That the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, be, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the face of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be hidden.
the butterflies. The butterflies. Amen. The butterflies. The butterflies. Amen. The butterflies. 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 Let us pray. <clears throat> we entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment 
which comes from the most holy body and the blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Thanks. Thanks.